Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Booming Queen and today we are going to have a look at the game which was played between Magnus Carlsen and uh, someone known as, like, now let's keep the name unrevealed and let's uh, name the player as MD. Well, there's a story regarding this uh, player that... Events Gambit, and this is all theory. Well, Black uh, is Magnus Carlsen, and from the white side, who's playing is MD. I'll reveal the na uh, name later. Well, after D3, we have Queen to B3, another move, and this opening is Knight G7. Except, uh, in spite of D3, you may go for Knight G7, followed by c d4 d5 e d5 knight d5 bishop to a3 and bishop e6 well this is also a very well known and reputated line you may have a look at this as well but in the game we have d3 queen to b3 queen to f6 and uh, e5 well magnus uh, said that he's already impressed with the way uh, white is playing because the pawn on e5 cannot be captured if you go for it simply rook to e1 is played and if, and if you try to save it with d6 then bishop g5 you have to move the queen at the same time eyeing the knight so uh, you have to play queen to f5 knight e5 d5 queen to b5 queen to d7 rook to e5 king to f8 Queen to c5, queen d6, and uh, what's the next move? Well, congrats if you found the move rook to d8, and it's a beautiful check made. The king can't move, and it is also uh, known as smothered mate. It's a smothered mate with her rook and the, the uh, bishop, yeah? Well, after e5, we have queen to g6, eyeing the pawn on, e on d3, and uh, nice life. For uh, Magnus, here we have rook to e1, knight g7, bishop to a3, and a mistake came here as uh, Magnus played b5. Well, Magnus's point was that if you uh, try to evaluate this position, you will uh, see that black's pieces are good; they are uh, active. But white species are more active if he, as he has only uh, this knight to develop, which has it to reach clear. White king is castled, but black has to castle now, and the bishop on c8 is uh, really bad. So he finds a way and he chooses the move b5. A better option would have been to do the same thing but in a different way, with which I mean d5. If e d6 uh you know this uh and percent cd and uh, rook e3 and in this position you may castle and it's uh around about equal but uh black has a slightly uh has a slight edge well after b5 we have queen b5 rook to b8 queen to a4 bishop b6 knight bd2 bishop to b7 and knight to e4 here, uh, White is back in the game. White is better in this position. Uh, it, he has a uh, you know advantage by two to three points. And uh, when you know that you are behind with two to three points, uh, like I'm talking about as Black, like Magnus knows that he's already uh, not a very good position. And uh, when you know that sometimes you find the best moves but sometimes it goes the other way around and you play the worst moves which happened here and magnus played the move queen to f5 which was uh
after the move knight to f6 he has the advantage of close to 1 1.1 points well i would like to request you if you could pause the video and think for a while well congrats if you found the move knight to g3 which is followed by queen to f6 rook to ad1 and this is a nice variation at the end of which the queen is trapped i'm sorry for that and your queen is gone well going back after knight to f6 we have gf6 ef6 rook to g8 and rook a to d1 well here magnus might have thought that huh, what kind of move is this like how serious blunder is this so he takes the knight here queen f3 but he missed a very nice combination see after the move rook e7 knight e7 uh, he missed this combination and could you could you attempt to find the winning the crushing combination a hint for you it's amazing four well congrats if you found this really nice crushing bam 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 and this final bam and it's simply a clean mate in four well before the playing bishop to e7 the uh, md this player was uh, wearing a hoodie uh, so he like you know he uh, comes uh, he shows his face to magnus and he was md he was none other than max duch i like the spellings d e u t s c h uh, i'm sorry if i can't uh, pronounce it in the correct way but uh, he is the max and there's a story that a few years earlier like three to four years earlier magnus uh, beat uh, max in a game of chess and Ma magnus simply crushed him uh, in that game and he said that he'll be the world champion in his game in the chess and uh, he did it so i'm not sure about that magnus is gonna retire or not but magnus is a man of words so he may do it so write in the comments below what do you think that magnus should retire or he should not write your suggestions of the game and if you got my analysis or not if you have some suggestions that i should uh, you know uh, consider to improve my analyzing skills then do let me know in the comments below well i'll check uh, check you out in some other video with some new games some new stories some new news and uh, till then ta ta bye bye